Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as the Northern Provinces going up against Goldtooth, where this is kind of an unusual situation, um, and really not ideal for the player. So, we've got two armies of Goldtooth forces coming in here. The first army is very damn dangerous. There's Stonehorns in there, which, you know, peasants aren't just aren't really able to handle that very well at all. Even if they're anti-large, the problem here is armor-piercing. And the fact that these are anti-infantry and just toss everyone around. And they've got a lot of uh, monstrous cavalry here that are just super dangerous, as well as, you know, gorges and other ogres. Right? And what have we got in reinforcements? Well, we've got more peasants, a settlement garrison, and this force here. Now, all of our forces here, which there's about uh, 67, something like that, units, um, all of them is weaker, at least as far as the order resolve is concerned, than all of these. Now, in a control large army situation, we can only bring 40 units onto the battlefield at a time, which means about 27 units have to remain in reserve. Meaning these guys here have the advantage in this situation, doubly so. However, if we don't control large army, this army here has no chance in hell of beating this one here. They're just going to get rolled over. And as these guys get pushed off the battlefield, then these guys are going to be where the reinforcements are going to be set up. It's just not an ideal situation. So, the guy in the email said that um, he tried a bunch of different things. He tried corner camping, checkerboard formation, controlling large army, not controlling large army. Nothing got even close to beating this army. But there is something that he didn't try, and that is giving the AI control of some of these armies. Now, it, it does have a bit of a drawback in that the AI is fucking stupid as hell. They will definitely not use these units uh, very well. However, it will allow us to completely swarm these guys, and extra damage is better than nothing. So, here's what we need to do. Not control large army. We'll just command this army here, and it will prevent this one from showing up at the start. So we just have this one here to worry about, at least to begin with. We put this one here under control large army, sorry, under AI control, so they'll come in despite having not control large army because this will, this creates sort of like a secondary faction. The only problem here is that these spellcasters here, uh, these two, might cast spells that are detrimental, like um, they might cast uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds on them, which won't do any damage but will absolutely wreck the peasants, or this guy here might cast Chain Lightning, so we just have to cross our fingers and hope that that doesn't happen. Um, this army here is perfectly fine to put under AI control, with the exception of the Sky Junk. Obviously, Fire Rain Rocket shooting at an Ogre unit into a bunch of melee infantry. Probably not ideal. I wish there was something I could do to just prevent this unit from showing up. Same thing with these heroes. We just don't want them to show up on this battle. And then, as for this one here, we don't want this army to show up at all. Primarily because of the Wuxing War Compass. This is an army that we'd want to command on our own. This is a, some more elite units, I suppose. But yeah, the problem here is that if the Wuxing War Compass comes in, it will definitely use the Celestial Comet. And there is no units in here, apart from the Noblars, that the Celestial Comet is going to be good against. And it will definitely wreck whatever units it hits. So we need to prevent this one from showing up unfortunately, because it just won't be good for us if they do it. It'll be detrimental. So with this, we will have 60 potential units. Oh, wait, that's two. Um, 58 units on the battlefield where they're only allowed 20. It's kind of a cheap move, but when you're in a situation where you basically can't win, um, sometimes you could just got to use the game's mechanics against them. You know, it's not against the rules to do this. But yeah, even when doing this, we're definitely still going to take a lot of damage because the uh, the stone horns are just super bloody strong. And all, all we have are peasants for the most part. Alright, now, to begin with, we need to... Hmm, it like saved the last formation that he did. That's interesting. I didn't do that. Um, what we should do, I think, is try to stay as far back here as possible so that we remain hidden because of the terrain. If we do that, we might be able to prevent them from rushing at us at the start. Because we've still got to wait two minutes for them to come in. And we don't want them on our face right to begin with. So, don't fire at will to begin with. Turn formation attack off, because that's terrible. Anyway, get over there. 
All of our stuff is hidden. Try to move back a little bit more. We'll get into a better formation later, but we just need to buy some time. Now, it would have been better if we had, I think, the lore of um, Yin. Because we could have summoned more of the Ancestral Warriors, which are fairly good against Ogres. Um, Jade Shield will be useful later on. Might be able to cast Wall of Wind and Fire, just get some damage in. Anyway, just try to lure them back here. Yeah, what are they doing? Yeah, it's not going to do much damage, but it's better than nothing. Now, we can't control the AI forces, obviously. That's the big downside to doing this. They're going to behave really stupidly. How'd that do? Yeah, it's better than nothing. Five wins of magic. None of these spells are going to be good against them. Oh, what about, what about this? Overcast that. Why not? They might dodge it, though. Oh, that did better. It cost a lot more wins of magic, though. Without fail. Oh, but they've got the Jade Amulet, so never mind. That's essentially unlimited wins of magic. Yeah, they're going back over here. If we can try to get them to stagger their forces a little bit at a time, that would be great. Because obviously, we don't want to fight the entire army all at once. Bounce power there is shit. Alright, our reinforcements have arrived. Oops. Reinforcements have arrived. Now we've got to get a little bit more organized because they're just gonna they're gonna push up and we need to make sure we're ready to support them as best as possible. Move as wind. Repositioning! The dragon's arse! Seeking Cathay's foes! Repositioning! Seeking Cathay's foes! Okay, I think we want to keep the Fire Rain Rockets pretty much out of the battle, but not... Don't withdraw them, because they're worth a lot of bounce of power. We need it for the army losses. What are they doing? Yeah, 3,000 damage is better than nothing. Might try something. Get them to... Come a little bit closer. By landing. But I'm going to get back up. They're not going to catch me in five seconds. But yeah, with the Fire Rain Rockets, using them would be just a huge mistake. It's not going to do any damage to them, really. More likely to do more damage to our own troops. Get back up. Alright. Yeah, these are all still hidden. I wish they would get into formation. I really wish you could give them orders like you could in Medieval 2. That was so good. You give them basic orders and they stayed in formation. Now, I think what we need to do is try to go a little bit more spread out because ogres are really good at just compacting you and making your forces fight like shit. Yeah, a little bit of damage here and there. Alright, now they see our troops and hopefully they're just going to send a little bit at a time over there. But they're refusing to use the lead belchers to shoot us, so that's... Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try a little bit. The celestial faithful. Archers. Oh man, I wish I could tell them to get into a better formation. Yeah, so these ones here, just just keep them out of it. Okay, some of our units are no longer hidden. The dragons are. Wind and fire. Okay, have these fire at will. And this one here, I want it shooting at specific targets. Okay, we've got Mournfang Cavalry that are going to come in through here. So, fighting in the forest is going to give them a bit of a weakness. Oh, what happened there? Order and balance, guided by ancestors. Shenyang sends us. Set by dragons. March in ordered ranks. Bringing harmony. What the fuck is going on there? Okay, there we go.
Yeah, it's free. Well, the fact they're leaving loads of troops here, great. Cool, they're kind of organized. What the fuck are they doing with the Jade Lancers? Good thing that's part of the garrison. <laughs> Morons. Try to stay out of their way. Last thing we want to do is have all the archers sitting on top of each other. They just won't shoot if that's happening. Alright, let's try this. Now that they're not moving out of the way. See if we can hit those lead belchers. We'll see if we actually do some damage with it. Yeah, that does, does alright. Alright, how are we going over here? Yeah, that was just fucking stupid over there. Hopefully they don't kill those heroes. Uh, this guy just needs a win. The uh, sky junk could be a problem as well. Alright, let's try to use you to shoot over there. Just be very careful that we don't hit our own troops. So use this when they full on start to attack us. Let's try to slow them down. What am to the unit coming in over here? No, 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 no! Come on, don't be a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, this is the big problem when dealing with uh, stone horns. Uh, you pretty much can't have a strong enough, uh, unless you use monster units, which we don't really have, except for um, Terracotta Sentinels. Can't do anything to hold them back. Let me do that again with this. That wasn't too bad. Bouncer power's looking good. Might do a bit of friendly fire, but we really got to get rid of the Stonehorn there. Main thing is not to use the fire rain rockets, but to use... Don't do that! Uh, use the um, use the grand cannons. It's more accurate. Long spears. One. Oh god! I wish they wouldn't bloody use this. What happened there? Looks like one of the grand cannons got taken off. Oh well. How are we going there now? 9,000 damage. That's pretty good. That's like a full unit of ogres defeated there. How are you doing? 2,000 damage. Alright, try to shoot the ones over here. Yeah, see, look at this. The AI. God, they're stupid. you got to spread out a bit more. Try to use the artillery at shooting at units that aren't going to inflict friendly fire. That'd be nice. Fire in the blood. Let's see, get those Mournfang cavalry off the battlefield. They might rally. Yes. Mournfang cavalry were always going to get loads of kills. Archers! Sent by dragons! Oh god. I'm impressed. She's not getting any kills, but she's done a lot of damage. Keep it up. In celestial light. It's not where I aligned it, but that's fine. Bounce power's still looking good. And we still got a lot of troops over here, it's just... It's just difficult to watch your own units being used so badly. Go and kill that stone horn. Good job. Defenders of Cathay! March in ordered ranks! So move up with our allies. We kind of need to support them. Because they're not gonna do whatever we want them to do. See, 
Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad, but I don't think they're worrying too much about friendly fire. Okay, might be a good idea to move a little bit closer. Maybe shoot at the reinforcements that are coming in. And over here, yeah, we've still got a good thing going there. Just keep them pinned down. Not pinned down, but keep them busy. Staring at you. One of the most effective things that you can do on the battlefield in this game against the AI is just confuse the shit out of them. And I think that's what's going on over there. They're just really confused. Okay, really need everybody getting rid of the stone horn here. Okay, you. Yeah, shoot at the ones that are far away. Don't worry too much that we're not using the artillery ammo, because it's preserving balance of power, and I just really want to... don't want to add extra insult to injury on the uh, the friendly fire there. There's already a fair bit of it. Okay, that's a unit we could hit with... Nah, it's too far away. Too far away. Just leave it. Alright, that other storm. Stop shooting! <laughs> oh god, like I said, I wish I could just take that one out of their control. Locked up there, that's not good. Alright. Just having a look at the heroes, make sure none of them have been killed. Yeah, they're all still here. Alright, all archers need to shoot at this dude here because he's killing our um, Lord Magistrate. Although, my opinion, dude, Lord Magistrates suck. Don't recruit them. Get uh, Shugen Gun Lords like this one. Right, they're not good in melee. They have no special abilities. They're just absolutely terrible lords. Possibly the most useless generic lord in the game, period. Including game one and two races. A little bit of friendly fire over here, but this guy here was causing problems. We've got to get rid of him. Stop it! You dumbass! Alright, cool. He's gone. Order and balance. Guided by ancestors. Defend the realm. So, this one here, it's doing, it's doing a bit of damage. Bounce of power is maintaining, that's good. Alright, this one here is fairly badly damaged. Let's withdraw it from the battlefields while things are nice and calm. Start bringing in some of that other reinforcements. Hopefully it's the garrison that's taking most of the damage, not the secondary army. But I really don't think he's going to mind if a bunch of peasants get wiped out. Why are you obstructed now? Right, you need to move up a bit closer. The terrain here is shit. Alright, we might be able to bring up the fire rain rockets now. It seems relatively safe to do so. Still a fair few reinforcements to come in. Oh yeah, we're getting a few kills with slow now. That's good. Okay, we've got a few units that are out of ammo, get them off the battlefield, bring in our reinforcements, because we've got some Jade Warrior crossbowmen to come in. Uh, you come in just to, and maintain over here, just to uh, provide balance of power. Because yeah, as these archers are uh, spent, we don't want to send them into melee, there's no point in doing that. Good, the cannons are doing a decent job. Got plenty of ammo. No need to rush using their ammo. Oh, the single caster. Can't overcast it. Out of reserves. Okay, looks like our reinforcements, that AI controlled dudes are. They're on the verge of defeat. But our forces are still in decent shape. Which is what I was counting on. These ones out of here. There's not that much left here. And we've still got more reinforcements to come. Still got this. Might as well use it. Um, might as well use it now. 
slow down these reinforcements a bit so we can deal with this. Move up over here. We've cleared out this area. Keep moving up. How's that doing? Cool. So she's now done 16,000 damage. Cool. What the fuck? Nomblas got 77 kills. Oh, I, I, best, I guess they're just like picking off already damaged units. It sucks to see the uh, the cannons getting wrecked here in melee. You know, the AI is just bad. What are you going to do? I can't tell them what to do. I'm aiming at good targets there. So this one over here, 7,000 damage is not bad. Okay, we've got some more reinforcements. Bouncer power is looking good. Keep casting. So yeah, by not using their ammo, we're significantly preserving our bouncer power, because that's worth a ton. And it's also just not good against ogres. Alright, we need to start moving up. This area here has been cleared. The fight's going to be more over this way. Alright, all three of our heroes in the other army are still alive, but this guy here is in a little bit of danger. Grand Cannon's doing a good job. Alright, that's the last of their reinforcements. That means the bouncer power is firmly in our favor. Because we've still got more reinforcements to come in, and they are completely out. Yeah, when going up against ogres, you really want to be bringing grand cannons, not fire rain rockets. Bounce of power is good. We should get the army losses fairly soon because if you have a look at it, they've lost most of their troops. Why would you send this dude? I mean, it's part of the garrison, so it doesn't really matter that much. Why would you send it ahead of the army like that? I hope the cannon troops here didn't get wiped out, but like I said, there's just nothing I can do about it. I can't control them. That unit there is going to be wiped out anyway, so a little bit of friendly fire isn't going to make any difference at this point. Just need to make sure we got clear shots before we do this, or at least mostly clear shots. That's enough. Still got them derped out over here. Nice. In light. Yeah, that's a stroke of fortune there, because that keeps, like, what, seven units away from the main fight over here, so we're only dealing with, like, 13 at a time, rather than a full 20. All right, there's the army losses we want. It's definitely going to be a Pyrrhic victory, because obviously the AI performed so badly. But we won. So that's good, right? I guess the big question here is, are we going to be able to pursue and finish them off? I think we killed off both of the uh, 
All right, they got a gorge unit over there that's unbreakable. All right, well, let's just bring the archers. Gorges don't have much. Oh, these, these idiots. Gorges don't have much ammo, uh, armor, so they should be fairly easy to beat. Why would you send them in? Such few troops supporting. Gorges are unbreakable, that's why they haven't broken yet. Almost got them. They're very vulnerable to getting shot. Alright, well at least none of the heroes got killed. Losing a cannon or two is not the end of the world. Let's have a look at what the extent of the damage is. So, our up... I only lost 107 troops, but these guys here, they lost fucking nearly 3,000. Settlement garrison taking the most amount of damage, uh, as in fewest troops remaining. Um, that's totally fine, because any units that get wiped out there will just recover, inst not instantly, but um, quickly. This one here, any peasant units can just be globally recruited, but those cannons probably take two turns in global. Let's have a look. They're still alive. None of the units got wiped out, so you, you get replenishment. In fact, no units got wiped out, period. So I wouldn't say that's a perfect result, but that's like a shit but ideal result. It's like we took a lot of damage, but no units got wiped out. Can't ask for any more than that. Get some more replenishment. Oh shit, we were on the attack. Huh. How about that? No right, 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 right. Huh. Well, if that was the case, the you know what I should have done? I did. I thought we were on the defense side. What I should have done in that situation was declined the attack, like withdrew from it, transferred all of the cannons into... We should have been in command of all of the archers, and they should be in command of all the peasants. Uh, get all the spellcasters out of this I army here. And just put them under our control. That way they can't fuck it up. There's still a settlement garrison, which you can't do anything about that. I can't command... Couldn't command that. So yeah, there's definitely some things I could have done differently to get a better result. But still, your army here is in essentially perfect shape. You should be able to finish that off and just auto-resolve it. Or fight it manually. You can bring these guys... No, you won't be able to bring them into support. But yeah, you will be able to finish off that one. That one's the more dangerous army. And this one here is not that big of a deal, I suppose. But yeah, because that's in good shape, that just shouldn't be a problem at all. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. That technique can really pull you out of a shit situation. But at the same time, massive drawback. You give the... You, you put the your own forces under the IQ of a IQ zero commander. Um, but at least the damage here can be recovered a lot faster than their damage recovered. Putting this guy inside the settlement would obviously help a great deal. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.